Hey, Shalom family at this time. This is Yada, Yada's and Clark Caleb. Yes, we yell on Yada at this time. And the peace of y'all be with each and every one of you, brothers and sisters. I'm here once again, if I, brothers and sisters, to share with you in the great name of Yah, the mighty words of Yah, brothers and sisters. So I'm, I'm going to bring you the prophets once again on the words of old that was uh, given to the Hebrew people, brothers and sisters. We have to go over some very important information at this time. This video is very important important to the utmost because many of our people have been lied to brother and sister many brother and sister many are under this deception yes they've been deceived tricked by the hands of the enemy brother and to believe that a man came to die for your sins and was a sin offering and all of y'all removed the perfect law if you read the Psalms 19 7 it plainly tells you that the laws of Yah is perfect so why would he change something that's perfect to establish another law, another um sin offering that was already perfect? He would not do things like Abia does not work that way, brothers and sisters. Somebody took the words of Abia and attempted to change them, like on uh, the Book of Daniel plainly tell you that the little horn would attempt to change the laws of Yah, the days and times. For a period of time, to attempt to wear out, to destroy, to get rid of the Hebrew people of Yah, to turn you completely away from Yah. Because remember, all y'all said his people perished because of lack of knowledge, brothers and sisters. Remember these things. As I'm going to share with you what got the Hebrew people put out of the land and why we are still being punished in exile at this time. So I'm going to share you with that part that portion first of our history what led unto this point at this stage we are today at the present we are being punished that's a sign and a mark of what took place back then brother and sisters how are y'all re remove us from the land so this coming from Malachi y'all the prophet when they call in the King James Version Malachi. So keep that in mind. When they call Malachi. But it's written as Malachi, the messenger of Yah. So we can deal with um chapter one. I'm gonna read verse six to ten, then twelve to fourteen. That is very important to go over you about the animal offerings. Yes, that was a law of Yah. That was and still is a law of Yah. It never changed. But the people broke this perfect law of Yah. It don't make the law imperfect. The people of Yah, the nation of Yah, became imperfect. They did not want to, do, to become perfect. Like Yah. So let's get it. In Psalms 1, excuse me, in um, chapter 1 of Malachi, it reads in verse 6, that a, it says, A son esteems his father, a servant his master. And if I am the father, where is my esteem, which is honor? It says, If I am a master, where is my fear? Which is talking about his reverence, says Yah, of hosts to you priests who despise his name. See, he talking about the priest, the one who um, do the work of offering the animals, killing the animals that the people offered to them for the sake of their sins. He said, for, let me read it. He said, and Yas of hosts, let me go back up. He said, if I am a master, where is my fit? Say Yah of hosts to you priests who despise my name. See, he was talking to the priests, the one that's, he didn't say all, but the priests who despise his name. Keep that in mind. But you ask, in what way have we despised your name, which is hated his name? He said, You present a defiled food on my slaughter place. So now you're giving them the reason how. The priest that defiled all your name 
at the slaughter place by offering defiled food. That's in verse 7. But you ask, in what way have we defiled you? Because you say the table of Yah is despicable. And you present the blind as a uh, as a slaughtering. See? Is it not evil? That was a question to the priest. And y'all y'all told Malak to tell them. That was the question. You presented the blind. And the, and the answer to these statements. And I was is that not evil? And when you present the lame and sick, see the crippled animals, the lame, the sick, the blind, is that not evil? Then he said, bring it to the, your governor. Will he be pleased with you? Will he accept you favorably? Says Yah of hosts. Think about that, brothers and sisters. He said, bring the kind of defect animal, impure animals to your leaders. Will they accept these things? Of course not. You might be killed on the spot. So think about these things, brothers and sisters. And now, entreat the face of Barah, who is the creator, to show favor to us, which is to show honor to us. That this has been done by your hands. See, they need to let them know the evil things they have done by their hands, by the presenting the evil things to Yah. Because the title of this video is, All of Yah Wants Your Pure Animal Sin Offerings. See, the priest back then was giving the file. What we're going over now, showing you in the writings. And this is the conversation I was having with them because they were making these statements to the men of Yah. And I Yah sent them and, and was questioning them so they could learn to examine themselves and see their faults. And he was giving them the reason why he was punishing them. So this is what this is all about, brothers and sisters. It's saying now, entreat the face of Barad, that's not to show honor to us. This has been done by your hands. Will he show honor to you, said y'all of hosts? Next, see, all y'all said, will this, um, this own king of yours show honor to you? Of, of course not. Verse 10, the who among you will shut the doors? So that you will not kindle fight on my slaughter place for naught. If I have no pleasure in you, says Yah of hosts, nor do I accept an offering from your hands. So keep that in mind, brother. Says this all y'all say he will not accept an offering from their hands because they were bringing defiled offerings to him. The ones I just read. Well, Abiyah said from the very beginning of his law, his, his statute of judgment, bring only the pure animal of one year of age, a male, from your flock. So keep in mind, I'm going to go down to verse 12 to read, to show you a little bit more. He said, but you are profaning me, and that you say the table of Yah is defiled, and its fruit is food is despicable. And you said, oh, what weariness. And you sneered at it. Said, Yah of hosts. See, they was getting tired of doing these things. So there wasn't nothing wrong with it. We were supposed to endure to the end. They was getting tired. Y'all I mean, never got tired. So don't let nobody trick you. They was getting uh, tired of obeying Yah. So let's keep reading 13. And you said, Oh, what weariness, and you sneered at it, and y'all of hosts, and you bought and plundered, see, and stolen, stolen possessions, and the lame, see, they bought and stolen animals, and lame, repeating it again, and sick animals, thus have bought in the offerings, thus we have bought in the offerings, Shall I accept this from your hands? Says Yah. See? So keep them in mind. I've just said, Shall I accept these lame and sick? 
It had nothing to do with uh, just a, a, a pure animal. They were bringing in um, defiled animals. The, the, defiled in the altar. The slaughter place. So keep all of these things in mind. Never let nobody treat. This is the pure and true history of type place. He said, but curse be the deceiver who has male in his flock. See, have a perfect one. See, they always saying, I'm going to have a perfect male in the flock. And make a vow, but it's, but it's slaughtering to Yah what is blemish. See right there? You see that? They were slaughtering the imperfect one, the sick, the lame, the blind animals, but keeping the perfect ones for themselves. That was disrespect to Yah. They were despising the name of Yah, profaning of Yah. You see that? The priests did accept these things from the people. And so just like the priest, the, the people became, just like the uh, slaughter place was defiled, the people became defiled, the land came defiled. So I decided to put us out for a period of time to correct us, to punish us. But as law is still perfect, animal offering of animals is still perfect in his sight. He said only offer the on pure, pure animals. I'm going to show you that the prophecy at this time, brothers and sisters, right in Ezekiel. Turn with me back to the prophet Ezekiel. I'm showing the prophecy for the third temple and the Zadok priest, the sons of Zadok, that will bring this about again, and the people will bring pure animal offerings once again. See, showing right there, the laws of Yah never change. I said we must go back to its old way. Yes. Back to the ways of Yah once again. There never was a new way of a man's sin offering. That's all made up in the mind of the Catholic Church and whoever else. And now those who also accept that teaching and believe it. I just showed you in Malachi plainly. They brought the wrong animals. They brought the sick, the blind, but kept the perfect ones for themselves. And that was against the law. So Yah, he said, only bring the pure animals, the one without defects, without blemish, spot, or wrinkles. These are the only perfect ones. Or the, I mean, the only perfect ones we want to bring without all of these defects and spots and wrinkles in them. And just like people today in the stores, they, uh, they, they, they slaughter animals that are sick, lame. You see people all expose them with mad cow disease and put it into the marketplace. And people become defiled and sick. You see what all y'all was preventing back then? That's why I said never bring these things. That's dishonor to y'all. That's dishonor his name. And that's exactly what the prophet of y'all showed the prophet and told him to tell this to the children of Yes, we yell, y'all. This is what they're doing. And this is why I'm going to uh, put them out of the land and stop the feast and the, and the offerings for a period of time. But uh, then I'll just say it's going to come to time in the book of Ezekiel that the third temple is going to be rebuilt. But the children of Israel, y'all, must have all of this knowledge that I'm going to give you some today. And during this video, chapter 43, verse 18, I'm going to start off with at this time. Chapter 43, verse 18, shows you the hit. And he said to me, Son of man, thus said Master Yah. I'm reading this from this uh, scriptures, the book called the scriptures at this time. Maybe you might read a little different. Let me keep reading. And he said to me, Son of man, thus said Master Yah, these are the laws for the slaughtering place on the day when it is made. See, when it's been made, been rebuilt once again for the offerings, ascending offerings on it, and the sprinkling of blood on it. See, showing that the animals, we're going to rebuild an, a, another altar, a slaughter place. That is an altar. And let me go to 19. And you shall give a young bull. See, you're going to give a young bull. These are the instructions. 
for a sin offering to the priest. You see that? Showing that we going to give a young bull for a sin offering to the priest. Once again, the Levites who are of the seed of Zadok. See, not just any priest from the Levites, but from the seed of Zadok. Only the, the seed of Zadok, the son of Zadok, will be presented the offerings for sin. A young bull and said, Who approached unto me? declares Master Yah. So keep that in mind. Right there, that was 19. I'm going to drop down to 21 and read 21 out to 27. Verse, and show you some more very vital information. Brother and sister, I'll be. I want your pure animal sent off, and you're gonna see that right here. He said, and you shall take. Excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. He said, and you shall. I'm losing my voice. <coughs> excuse me. And you shall take the bull of the sin offering. There it goes again. The animal sin offering. This never been done in the third temple because we never had a third temple. Where I'll be. And you read a little earlier, you see. The third temple is where Abiyah said he's going to bring his temple. I mean, his throne and sit amongst the children of Yezreel forever. That's never occurred. So, Ray 21 saying, You shall take the bull of the sin offering and shall burn it in the appointed place of the house outside of the set apart place. And on the second day, you bring a male goat, a perfect one, red dead, 22 for all everybody to mock. 22 say, A perfect one. Remember I showed you what got to put out of the land. And how I got stopped it on the on the on animal offerings at that time. All because the, the priests and the people were bringing defiled animals that were not I y'all did not accept it. He said, I'm not gonna accept this from your hand. I'm gonna send you away for punishment because you're disrespecting me. See, they did not guard the ways of Yah, like I told Abraham. You and your sons are required. That's what's the command of Yah, part of the covenant, to guard the ways of Yah, which is his Torah. His, yes. We was required to do these things, brethren and sisters, that will never change. For Abiyah said he for him to do all the things that he promised Abraham. We must accomplish all these things forever. So it's right here, brothers and sisters. 22. He said, and the second day you bring a male goat, a perfect one, for a sin offering. You see that? Red dip all eyes to see. In Ezekiel chapter 43, 22. And they shall cleanse the slaughter place as they cleanse it with the bull. You see that? That is uh, the process of clean, clean, the, cleansing the slaughter place. This is all obedience to Yah. 23. He said, when you have ended cleansing it, bring a young bull, a perfect one, there we go again, see, a perfect one, see, you get Pacific, to the point of Zach, constantly reminding you, don't bring no defiled one, but a perfect one, so keep that in mind, to bring a perfect one, and a ram from the flock, a perfect one, there it goes repeated for the third time again, a perfect one, and you shall bring them before Yah and the priests and throw salt on them and offer them up as a ascending offering to Yah. 25. Prepare a goat for a sin offering daily for seven days. See, this process is going to be done for seven days. And prepare a young bull and a ram from the flock, a perfect one. There you go for the fourth time. 26. For seven days they shall make atonement. See, this is the atonement process for the slaughter place and cleanse it and ordain it. See, and ordain it. So that process is going on for seven days, 27. And when these days are completed, when the seven days are completed, shall be completed, it shall be on the eighth day thereafter. See, on the eighth day thereafter, that the priests make your ascending offerings and your peace offerings on the slaughter place. And I shall accept you, declares Master Yah. You see that? Seven days is going to be atonement for this altar to be accepted. On the eighth day, and thereafter, the, the priest is going to accept the ascending offerings and your peace offerings 
on a slaughter place, and Abiy said he should accept you, which is us, there at that time when we get back home, when the two nations, Yada and Yezreel, y'all get back together again. And that is the process of Yah. That is the process of making atonement and being reconciled back to Yah, brothers and obviously dead. Not in America, nowhere else in the earth, but dead. He said he's going he to accept this by the priest being reinstated into the office by the messenger of, of, of Yah that going to cleanse the uh, priest and get them ready for the duty function they work again for the slaughter place to be rebuilt for the atonement to take place for seven days after the seven days completed on the eighth day the sending office, the peace office should, should go before Yah and he will accept that instead that's the words of Yah with that I say Shalom